fireworks on the National Mall celebrating Independence Day and a celebration at the White House marking progress in the nation's independence from the coronavirus. This year, the 4th of July is a day of special celebration for we are emerging from the darkness of years. In the largest event of his administration, President Biden hosting a barbecue for 1,000 military families and essential workers and honoring the more than 603,000 American lives lost to COVID-19. To heal, you have to remember. We have to remember them. And we will. The event coming after the Biden administration missed its goal of 70% of Americans receiving at least one vaccine shot by July 4th. The CDC reports 67% of U.S. adults have had one dose and 58% are fully vaccinated. And a new ABC News Washington Post poll finds that among those unvaccinated, 74% say they're unlikely to get a shot. My fellow Americans, it's the most patriotic thing you can do. So please, if you haven't gotten vaccinated, do it, do it now. The call to action all the more urgent with the highly contagious Delta variant now identified in all 50 states, accounting for more than 26% of new COVID cases nationwide. We are seeing increases in cases in those areas in the country where there's lower vaccination rates. Now, those concerns about the Delta variant are getting amplified as U.S. road and air travel reaches pre-pandemic levels. Travel experts say to try to avoid busy roads, you should try to drive home before 1 p.m. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.